As of today, there are only 30 cinemas around the world that can display true IMAX film format. That is, have the screen size and the projection capabilities of displaying true 1570mm IMAX film. And I'm standing in front of one of them right now. Not only is this the largest screen, but the only IMAX screen in the Southern Hemisphere. This is IMAX Melbourne, located just outside of the CBD, next to Melbourne Museum, ready for the release of Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan's 12th feature film and the sixth one shot on IMAX film cameras. I'm here to discover the incredible process behind how this giant film is played here at IMAX, which has already sold over 27,000 pre-sale tickets for Oppenheimer, which was a record that was now being beaten previously owned by Star Wars The Force Awakens. I think the biggest point of difference for IMAX Melbourne is the fact that we're the only IMAX cinema in Australia. Uh, we've got the world's second largest screen at seven stories high, and we show a range of documentary content that's made specifically for IMAX, and then some blockbuster feature films as well. The vast, vast majority of films are only released in a digital format these days. Uh, there's very few cinemas out there that can uh, show a film on film. And IMAX 1570 film is really the rarest beast of them all. There's only 30 cinemas in the entire world that have an IMAX 1570 film projection system. Uh, and Nolan is the, really the biggest proponent of that system. He loves IMAX 1570. It's his chosen method for, for shooting film. And he and we believe that it's the best cinema experience to view a film as well. For 1570 film, the, the process is always the same. It's a huge film reel. Uh, and it takes a, a lot of technical knowledge and know-how in how to uh, look after the system and thread the system. The difference with Oppenheimer is it's a three hour film. It's the longest film ever created on IMAX 1570. So it's heavier, it's 280 kilos, uh, it's 18 kilometers long, 180 minutes. Uh, we have huge film platters in our projection room and they weren't even big enough to be able to handle the 180 minute runtime of Oppenheimer so we had to add extensions onto those film platters. And it becomes more and more complicated for a projectionist the heavier the film is because they have to look after it more carefully. Uh, it runs through our projection system at 1.7 meters a second. So it is flying through that system. Uh, and it, it is really the most technically difficult projection system out there. So Oppenheimer and other Christopher Nolan movies aren't the only movies that screen here at the IMAX theater. They also do documentaries and other films, but Christopher Nolan movies are definitely the standout ones when it comes to how many people show up. I know when people come to see Interstellar, for example, in 1570mm film, this theatre is always super, super hard to get tickets for because so many people just want to see it in its original film format. I mean, the screen is so massive that it measures at about seven storeys high. So if you had a seven storey building, that's just how big the screen is. They had to get a whole crew of people. I think it's over 30 people or so just to get the screen in here in the first place. And it is truly a massive thing. In fact, you have to actually stand up and look over to see the bottom of the screen, just how big it is. And there are a lot of other theaters out there with different big screen branding, but this is truly the best way to see a Christopher Nolan movie or any IMAX movie out there. We're the second largest screen in the world, 23 meters by 32 meters. And it's 10, 10 times really the size of a normal screen and, and even bigger than some of the smaller screens out there. There are several different IMAX formats available. So IMAX have digital cameras that you can use, film cameras that you can use, uh, and some of them can blow up to a different ratio, which is 1.9. And then the giant screen cinema experiences can blow up to 1.43, which fills the entire height and width of our screen. Completely different beast, the, the huge IMAX screens, of which there are about 50 in the world. Um, and they're the ones that can do the 1.43 aspect ratio. But only 30 of those 50 are showing uh, Nolan's Oppenheimer on IMAX film. So this is really where all the magic happens. I'm up here on the first floor of the projection room here at IMAX Melbourne. And on the right hand side here, there are two 4K IMAX digital projectors, which forms the one image. And just behind me over here is the film projection uh, for IMAX. And this is where everything on film is projected onto the main screen, including all the Christopher Nolan movies. We have Dunkirk, uh, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight Rises, Inception, as well as some other movies too, like The Force Awakens and Star Trek Into Darkness. And essentially, on the left here, all of the film is spooled into this uh, IMAX projector 
and there's actually quite a bit of distance, which is quite surprising to me, that goes between where the film rolls are stored and spooled into the projector and then back out onto the film roll. So it's obviously a very, very delicate process and uh, I'd be very, very nervous when doing all this myself, but that's why there's obviously professionals that do it. For the first time ever uh, on IMAX 1570 film, they've done black and white uh, sections. And Nolan had to work with Kodak to actually develop that black and white film system and that film print. It's never been done before. But the film comes in, in, in smaller reels, 53 reels, I think, for, for Oppenheimer. Uh, and then it has to be carefully put together in order uh, and sp all spliced together. So it's basically stitching these 53 reels into one larger hole. It's shipped in 53 individual boxes. Uh, and then basically it's, it, the, the tech manager of each site has the role of stitching that film together. It's what Nolan uh, wants people to watch the film in. It's what he intends. There's only 30 screens in the whole world, as we've said. Uh, you've got to come watch it at IMAX 1570 if you have that opportunity. No such thing as a bad seat in, in the IMAX theatre. I like to sit about four rows from the back, right in the centre. Uh, but to be honest, it's specifically de designed so there's no bad seat. I would say the front row isn't for everyone, but for those people who want to be really immersed and have an amazing full-on experience, uh, you're going to be massively immersed when you're in, in row A. All right, let's see how close this is. Because uh, there's lots of different options, but right in the center. Okay. All right, yep. This is pretty close. So although it is probably crazy to think about even sitting in the front row seats, if you were trying to get a spot in one of the opening sessions of IMAX here in, in Melbourne, uh, good luck with that. I know I definitely did for the opening sessions because within the first month or in terms of pre-sales, the theatre's already sold over 27,000 tickets. Now, this theatre has 453 seats and it's the only IMAX screen uh, here in the facility. And uh, over the first few screenings, that's a lot of tickets, which means if you were desperate to get one of the opening sessions and you weren't first able to get online, this is probably something that you had to settle with. And honestly, it's fine by me. I'm uh, probably gonna get a neck injury, but I could sit here for four hours and watch a bomb go off. Seven, six, five, four. We would encourage uh, all, as many filmmakers as possible out there to get involved with IMAX. The best thing about IMAX at the moment is, and Nolan's led the way with this, is filmmakers really want to shoot on that format because they know it's just the best possible format that they can shoot on. Even if you see a film in a, a smaller cinema, if you're shooting with an IMAX print as the base, it's going to look more spectacular even on a smaller screen. IMAX theatres and the business around the world account for around about 11% of total box office sales, which is really interesting because they only account for and represent 1% of total screens around the world, which really showcases how much people love coming to IMAX theatres to see their favourite films in both past and present, and especially to see true IMAX film format being displayed. So if you're lucky enough to see Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer in an IMAX theatre near you, or like many, travelling internationally or interstate to come and see it, just remember, as you're sitting in that theatre watching Oppenheimer, there's around about 18 kilometres or 11 miles of film rushing through at 24 frames per second while the projection manager is needlessly stressing to get that film out there, which is just mind-blowing. And I hope more theatres out there display any type of movie in that awesome film format. Now, next time you're coming down under here to Australia and especially to Melbourne, this is one of the places you absolutely have to visit if you love going to the movies.